Don't push the red button. Never push that's a, the that's red That's a children's button. book. It's actually a lot of fun. It's Welcome really to three beers in a topic. Today it's three gluten beers. If they can even be counted as gluten a beer. Free. Gluten free. <laughs> Normal <laughs> beer is gluten so beer. Like, he's like, it's three gluten beers. So <laughs> beer. Beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, um, beer. First off, before we kick this off, because this goes on my private channel and our Patreon, I want to apologize for taking so long to get to the next episode. We have a plan for it now. So for those of you guys who don't know, the reason why there hasn't been a three beers and a topic, if you haven't been on the Twitch, this is not the cheapest and easiest show to do. One, you got to deal with people getting drunk. Two, you got to, <laughs> no matter how many times we warn Andy, he's drunk at the end of every episode. That's not true at all. Actually. <laughs> actually, actually, not since no. that, that no, first not, episode. Not, not, right. We yeah, always yeah, seem to have yeah, one yeah. person getting drunk. Yeah, that first But the bigger episode. thing is finding new beers and uh, the cost factor of getting beers that we weren't going to drink all of. So these both came, became a factor of getting the show produced. We have a better system now where we're going to have a budget there at the was, beginning of the month. There was a problem with drinking beer? Well, because then we know. Nah, well, I know. Mean, huh? What do you mean? Like we end up with a lot of extra, like leftover I, beer that nobody wants to drink because it was not good flavor. Oh, yes, yeah, I, I usually okay. ran into the problem when I ran out. <laughs> so that is the problem. Right <laughs> no, because what yeah. the issue runs into is we'll have like two beers no one liked, yeah. sure, and yeah. they were like yeah. twenty dollars for a six pack because it's some weird yeah. craft beer yeah. that yeah. was mixed with like this urine of a squirrel. <laughs> speaking of beer, <laughs> speaking of urine of squirrels, you want to kick out the yes. first one and we'll talk about this. Uh, real quick, do you want to mention what you told me the other day that beer like beer sales are apparently going down. beer sales are down by thirty percent because wine and board, spirits yeah. are up because people find it cooler to make cocktails. And I can't even discount that because I spent $100 on cocktail stuff. I was going to yeah. say the other night during yeah, D&D, yeah. you were like, does anyone want a cocktail? <laughs> I mean, it makes sense because I was I'll making everyone for, margaritas like, and rum punch. I honestly, I will go for a good like scotch or a good yeah. mixed drink yeah, yeah, before honestly. I'll go for beer. Yeah, I don't usually, yeah. honestly, I don't usually keep beer in my house, but I yeah. usually keep like scotch or rum or something right, like that. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So anyway, I'm going to keep explaining what's going on with this. I'm going to talk, we're going to talk about some stupid things we did as kids. And uh, I also want to tell you why there's been it. no vlogs. All I was the smartest kid in the world. But we are going to kick it off with no. so he is gluten filled i mean gluten free <laughs> just full of gluten just, just and so uh, he gluten. has always argued that he can't partake because it wasn't gluten free so he got us three gluten free beers to try true today we have holly daily brewing company golden colorado are these all from that company yes, yes. they okay. look like they it are. fat randy's ipa oh, i already don't like ipa so this is gonna be fun <laughs> And I don't like anyone named Fat Randy. I also don't like beers filled with gluten. <laughs> it's not filled with gluten. You don't like we beers need the, filled we with need gluten? We need the gluten-free uh, pretzels. Where are those? <laughs> Dan, Dan would like some, too. <laughs> it's like Dan's the, like, uh, he's like, I the might drunk be on camera patrol yeah. today, but I'm definitely getting a beer. The only job so I've ever these? had, Andy, yeah. where we encourage yeah, so, you getting drunk. So Holiday Lees and Golden, uh, they're a relatively new uh, brewing company, and they specialize in gluten-free. Uh, they also have a stout, which I could not find. Enjoy your uh, head. Which I have also had, though, and their, their gluten-free stout is amazing. Uh, I picked this up at a little shop in Johnstown, Colorado, called Black Sheep. Uh, so you can't just find this beer, like, just anywhere. Okay. So, yeah. Um, so anyway, cheers. 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 Shalanta. Salute. That's actually good. Uh, just it. That's not you, bad. Yeah, if you didn't tell me that was gluten free, I wouldn't know. I'd yeah. be like, oh, it's yeah. just an IPA. I hate those. <laughs> I mean, actually, Ben's like, I still okay. hate it. I, still I, do, hate I have IPA. to say this. I do hate IPA. I do not like IPA, but I like this. It's you just, gotta, it's you just like, like that it's because there's no gluten in it. It's got a lemony kind of like taste. Like a zest. Like, yeah, I will say this. Like I, mean, I have yeah. not made it a quiet thing. Yeah. It tastes like I'm drinking a cleaner. Yeah. Um, I have not made it quiet that I do dislike IPAs. I would drink this if this was like, oh, Benny, here's your beer today. Yeah. Oh, fine. You know, this is not bad. Not right. bad. As, as yeah, some it's of not them. bad at all. What is the opinion of Dan? I like it for a gluten-free beer, but I'm not the biggest IPA fan anymore. Dan well, says yeah. he likes it because yeah. for being a gluten-free beer, but that's, it's not the biggest I feel IPA like fan. that's a lot of, because for the longest time, and I say this as somebody who's been gluten-free for a while, the only gluten-free beers you could find were mostly IPA. Yeah. And so when people say, I don't like gluten-free beer, it was either garbage like gluten-free beer because it was a new thing and nobody quite knew how to do it yet. Right. Or it was IPA. And you're like, well, well, no wonder you didn't like it. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's IPA. Because it's just so, crappy beer to begin with. Exactly, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so uh, anyway, what I was saying is... Ugh. Yeah, what's our story again? 
Well, I've got a story of something that's going okay. on with this channel and what's going on with the show. We decided to set aside an actual budget for the show. So the, th the fourth episode of every month may be some pretty cheap beer, but we should have an episode every... Excuse me, Natty Light, Pabst Blue Ribbon. <laughs> Why do you got to pretend to be drunk? Because it's the only way I would drink Natty Light, <laughs> <laughs> Pabst Blue Ribbon. If you don't remember it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, and we're going to do, yeah. do like Barrick's parties where you, put, you fill up a, uh, a mop bucket yeah. full of ice. You put all yeah. of the beer right in there. So you'd be but, truly upset. If somebody came to you and said, yeah, you blacked out last night. Like, yeah, I know. I don't remember anything. What did I do? Like, my account's overdrawn. Yeah. My car's crashed. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of upset. They're like, well, you did all that. You, you also drank Pabst Blue Ribbon. No! <laughs> <laughs> like, you, drink, you went and bought 8,000 cans of Pabst Blue Ribbon. Yes. So I'm down a buck 50. <laughs> <All right. laughs> That's um, yeah, go ahead. So that was, that was the number of problems. So there may okay. be some alterations to give this a weekly show. Um, yeah. We may have, like, only two beers on one particular episode. We, but we're going to buy enough for the whole week. And then if the budget blows, We'll just spread it out kind of deal for the whole month. I mean, um, the other issue we ran into is we kept trying to put this show at the back end of our filming on Monday. Yes. Which anytime that the filming ran late, we just did couldn't get the show done because yep. it was like, oh, we're already at 4 so then, p.m. So then you ended up with a bunch of beer in your fridge. Yeah. That nobody drank. And that nobody sat drank. there for like a week. Well, and, and, yeah. and then we'd do like barbecues and stuff and no one would drink the beer because everyone knows it's for the show. Right. So it was yeah. just sitting there while we're all waiting for the episode to roll by so we can yeah. drink what's left over. Yep. Half the time, Dan, if he really wanted the beer, would like separate this is the show beer, this is the Dan beer. <laughs> he does that every day, actually. A little bit for the show. A <laughs> little bit for Dan. Yeah. Dan, there's nothing for the show. <laughs> Shut up. There, we're not recording <laughs> anything today. Not me. That's not even a bill. Yeah. Uh, one for the film. Every day he comes in, he's like, this is the Dan beer. <laughs> every single not, day. I, I honestly think we should do all our podcasts while drinking. Sure. I mean, I would be against but it. But it should, like, fine. fit. Sponsors might be a little about. upset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It should fit what we're talking about. Sure. Today, we're going to be discussing yeah. AA meetings. Yo, pour me another. <laughs> yeah. What would be a good conspiracy alcohol? I feel I like uh, something strong. <laughs> something, just like the alcohol, I think. Just like the alcohol, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. We'd have to look like that up. Like a cast something. strength. There's got to be something. Some, something, yeah. yeah. So, anyway. Yeah. Um, the other thing I wanted Cavs, to discuss here, yeah. since this is going to be the first video on that channel in almost two months. Yeah. So the vlogging, I, I, I stupidly made a video and I was like, I'm challenging myself to make a vlog every week. Yeah. Gary and I made like three more that we never published. Mm -hmm. We actually went out and did things. And then uh, about mid-May, I'd say, or like late May, J June, you were moving. So we were like, let's just call it quits for like, until we figure out what we're doing. I know. The problem yeah. is I don't want to just make a vlog that is like everyone else's shows. No. We don't, we don't, I don't have to be like, check it out, guys. I'm Logan Paul. Let's go into a forest of dead people. Yeah, no, I don't. yeah, yeah. The look at me do cool stuff and, yeah. and spend money kind of vlog. And yeah. we're going to do that because <laughs> I spend money and I do cool stuff. But <laughs> Well, half of that statement's right. Yeah. <laughs> I'll let you figure out which. But what I didn't want to be is like just same thing as everyone else's uh, vlog. Okay. Guys, check it out. We're going to the mountains to go like, snowboarding, you know, like. Can no. I just point out that you always say my impression of you is not accurate, but when <laughs> you do an impression of you, it's almost the exact same yeah, thing. I got it from you. Yeah. 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 Hey, so yeah. lucky and crazy guys out here. Lucky and crazy <laughs> Ben's, guys. Ben's up in the woods like, hey, everybody, where's my mom? <laughs> so in everything that Gary and I made was pretty much the same thing as like Casey Neistat or Peter McKinnon. It was drone shot. Me yeah. introducing cool thing we're doing, some cool clips over music. And yeah. Maybe some people want that. I just don't want to make that. And I, I also I do actually think that people are starting to burn out on that kind of thing. Yeah, I do because too. Because they've been doing it for so long. And so many of the vloggers are so similar. Like show opens up with some like techno beats or whatever. Yeah. You know, some kind of like ambient music, and then they go into this like um, tirade about it's the same exact like, thing. It, it, it is always the same thing. And yes. Gary and I were making the same thing. And, and I don't mind doing that because some of them are just going to be us doing that. Andy, you and I are going to go to the school convention. It's going to be a normal vlog. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I didn't want to pepper <laughs> Andy that. fighting his way through the crowds. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't want to have. Prop weapons <laughs> and just <laughs> smacking people. I didn't want yeah. that to be the only thing we present on the channel. Yeah. So three beers in a topic I do like, and I wanted to get out more often, but we had to figure out a plan for that. There's yes. a couple other things I want to do that I think will be fun. Benny learns how to make cocktails. I'm going to mix them up, and he's going to drink them. <laughs> Could be risky. Because I've decided I'm going to be a bartender. Don't even care. Yeah. The other night we were DMing, and he was like, you want to, what were you making me at first? Uh, rum punch. Rum punch. And I was like, yes, I do. You know what? I need another one. You want a margarita? <laughs> yes, I do. 
The best part is, Aunt, I gave him the first one, and Andy said it was weak. Who wants alcohol? Me. <laughs> Well, yeah. no. So yeah. I gave him the first one. He said it was weak. I did the exact measurements, and I'm like, and it was funny because like I think it was Kevin that was with me. In it next yeah. time, yeah, it was like yeah. Kevin or somebody. So what we would do is I'd mix the drinks up for like him and our buddy Ryan and and yep. Kevin, and then I'd be like, well, Andy wanted more. Yeah. <laughs> and then it gets to the point where I'm like, Rosie, twenty. I don't even care anymore. Yeah. <laughs> gin always sneaks up on me. Because there's like no flavor to gin. Yeah, I, I got so I got sa- like, uh, whiskey what, what, sours what, 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 to make for this particular yeah. game. Nice. So. But yeah, okay. I think it'd be fun to do stuff like that. Uh, you know, eating challenges is something Gary and I wanted to do, but other people do that. So we, if we're going to do things that other people are doing, I want it to have our flavor, our flair, and it's mixed in with things that are a little more unique. Yes. Not just, check out me giving you a drone shot and then talking about some story. Because we do that on three beers and a topic. Why wouldn't I just drink more beer and talk to you this way? Speaking of stories. <laughs> you started doing the arm thing again. I know. And then I felt like you noticed it because you put your no, arm no. slowly down. <laughs> We got, yeah, these are the other ones. That can's up. Oh, there's still beer in here. <laughs> yeah, there is. Yeah. I didn't finish it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I don't like IPA. <laughs> okay. Did Dan finish his? Uh, it's a different cup. Oh, Dan's like, I want the next one. Yeah. Just put that over there. Yeah. Okay. Can you? Thank you. So that's what's been going on the blog channel. I, we haven't forgotten about it. The problem is, though, when Gary moved and everything was going on, um, it just took the the farthest of the back burners, honestly. Yeah. Because we still have to run. Oh, that's a lot of you on that one. Here you go. <laughs> we have to I still. Got you, bro. We still have to run Comic Storian. We still have to run. We're trying to get EM up to where it's good. It's like nearly impossible to make a gaming channel worth something at this point. It's just so hard. Plus, oh, he plays oh, video games yeah. for like twelve hours a day. So yeah. Well, apparently, I play video games twelve hours a day. Yeah. Okay. What are we uh, drinking, Benny? I want to read it in a minute. We're also, I want to read it. I want to read it. We're also trying to do Tales give me, of Earth. Give me, give me. Give me. We're also trying to do this Twitch channel right here where this is being filmed live every uh, Thursday now. Oh, and that's it. This has been moved to Thursdays. We're going to film it Thursdays so we always have time for it. You notice that yeah. we're not rushing through it this week? It's only 2.09 here. <laughs> yeah. So what is it, Andy? Well, you were still talking. <laughs> Go. Uh, this is the favorite blonde ale. Also from Holly, Holly Daily. Holly Daily. Holly Daily. Mm-hmm. Uh, also from uh, Colorado. Golden Colorado. Golden USA. Colorado. Stelios, I appreciate nice. that. I do. Uh, we aren't getting drunk though. Just a heads up. We're having sippers. It's not. We're not yeah. going to get drunk. We're, we're all splitting. <laughs> yeah, we're beer. splitting yeah. one can of beer. Yeah. And did, <laughs> did you read the small paragraph on the back? No, no, I didn't. No. All right. So Grandpa was an optometrist who killed his. G- oh, I'm sorry. Not killed. <laughs> I really, really, <laughs> really misread that one. <laughs> Grandpa was an optometrist who called his granddaughter. <laughs> And the Holland Daily founder, his... You mixed up called and killed? I don't know how. And found... Just because I'm... You're pissing me off right now. That's what it is. And Holland yeah. Daily founder, his favorite blonde, inspired by the man who helped others see the value of a good time, our blonde ale has a subtle hop character and mellow malt flavor. You should read that one after we try this. Okay. All right, cheers. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Do you not know how this works, Andy? Oh, okay. Cheers. Well, I'm drinking. Oh, that's much better. Yeah. yeah. I like, I don't know, I like blondes. Yep. Yeah, you I know. do go like the light blonde beers. Yeah, you yeah. Do. <laughs> don't tell Natalie. Yeah, yeah that's blonde-ish. actually really good. Right? <laughs> yeah. The one thing that I've always noticed about Holly Daily is it, it's always a little sweet. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Every time they're they're other beers. Well, they probably compensate for sweet. the bad gluten free flavor. That's probably what it is. <laughs> like, well, the actual beer is vomitously like terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so let's add sugar to this. Is there tons of sugar in this? No, I don't know. Probably not. Oh, I, yeah. is I hate you. No, I'm just saying. It's got no gluten, it's probably what they it's do. like 8,000 calories. It's like, well, here's the beer by itself. It's awful. <laughs> let me, let's add some sugar. Let me see the frat randies. Yeah. Uh, frat randies. Frat randies. Yeah. Hungry for adventure and thirsty for world-class America. I told you, no accents. American IPA. <laughs> Fat Randy journeyed to the land where the buffalo roam. He pairs his arom- aromatic, easy drinking IPA with close friends in the great outdoors. A toast to Fat Randy, the man, the myth, and the legend. Well, hee You didn't stop that accent. That's because that's slightly better. At least. <laughs> this is good. I like it. We should combine them and make a Fat Randy blonde. Okay, so dumb stories. <laughs> went- <laughs> Former surfer dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Uh, yep. I like this Living one. Living on the beach. I can yeah. drink this yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, so stories of when we were dumb as kids. So that's all of them. Where Andy we and I lived. So okay. boys. 
For those who don't know, uh, I was homeschooled from first to fifth grade. Six, seven, and eight. Six and seven were uh, at a private school. Eight was homeschooled again. Nine was at a public school, and then 10, 11, 12, I stayed. I went back there. God, that's confusing. interesting. Yeah, I. But we, I was we moved. Work. We moved a lot too. So I went to a bunch. It of wasn't moving. Schools. We didn't move. Well, I know. Yeah. Well, that's we're true. Literally yeah, living we're in moving. the same house. So <laughs> I went to a bunch of different schools, and I was homeschooled from uh, sixth grade to nine, ninth. Well, so yeah. we we were all homeschooled to fifth grade. And then our parents kept using me as a guinea pig. They decided they were worried that we weren't getting social skills, so they sent me to private school for that. Okay. And then I had an argument and fight in, in private school at like seventh grade. So they sent they were like working well, homeschooling for eighth. Okay. Ninth, they sent me to public school for the exact same reason. They felt they didn't have social skills. Um, and they and we went over there. And, and for tenth grade, they were like, "Do you want to go back or do you want to stay?" And mm-hmm. I'm like, "I don't feel like I'm antisocial. I don't know why you keep thinking this. I was always the outgoing. He was guy. always murdering cats in the neighborhood." <laughs> So that was a little weird. Yeah. What? I don't know. <laughs> I, what, what, what I always found what weird. Going I, on with you? And this is where That's I so joke. Dark. This is where I joke that they uh. used me as the experiment because they would try it with me and then go, "Well, Andy's fine at church." But like, I still have tons of people I'm hanging what does out with. That have to do with anything. Because you're doing all right with school, so he, Andy's at church. Well, no. <laughs> yeah, you what? had the church friends, and you had the church like homeschool. Yeah, group I had, thing. Yeah, yeah, I had friends. Yeah. Yeah. But so did I. Is what I'm saying. Like, I had public school friends. Anyway. During, really sure where that went. Uh, during the early years, there was these sand dunes near us that would snow, and they'd take us to go sledding <laughs> when we were kids. Yes. I don't know what was Funny going on. Funny side note, I've had a lightsaber duel on those sand dunes. But that's <laughs> the Why would you not? Exactly. <laughs> Seriously. Did you cut off someone's hand? I tried. Did you scream, I have the high ground? <laughs> and I did. Yes, of course. That was the best part. Um, oh, man. It was, uh, I don't know what went through my head. And all, all <laughs> I remember from that, from that childhood moment is we went sledding. And I had it in my head that if I could break something, that mom would give me time off of school. Oh, yeah. He wasn't a smart child. <laughs> Apparently not, because we were homeschooled. <laughs> How would I get time <laughs> off of school? <laughs> your bedroom is your classroom, Benny. <laughs> <laughs> you were literally Ben's living like, at school. I just have this image of Ben like up on the top of the hill like, yes. this is genius. Now you've, <laughs> now you've basically guaranteed your inability to, <laughs> to escape school. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, you might as well get ahead and not like you can go anywhere <laughs> yeah. else. Yeah. So what oh, I was doing man. was the entire time we were sledding, I kept throwing the sled out from underneath me to land right on my knees. And we did this for like an hour. And I just kept pummeling myself into my knees. How yeah. old are you? Wow. I could not have been that old because the, the, only a, a stupid kid would be like 20. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I, I just want to go to college. 20, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Past 20. Yeah. He's Thank said you last, so much he said week. for subbing for two months in yeah. a row. Cracking I just don't want to do the podcast yeah. today. He's still afraid they're going to send him to homeschool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't, know, I don't know what was going through my oh, head. Man. Like, well, kids in public school get time off when they break, it, break limbs. Yeah, but here's the thing. When we were homeschooled, we got the days off the kids yeah. from normal school. Day. I don't. Uh, there yeah. was a snow day and yeah. the schools were canceled. Yeah. My mother would follow the same follow pattern. The same yeah. pattern. Right. Yeah. So I don't know what he's trying to I, do I have, here. I have no idea what was going through my head. I just remember the I remember the mentality of if I can break my leg, mom will give me time off. That's also, all I remember. Also, homeschool is a better deal because if you just get your work done, you just get it that, done. See, that is so I actually homeschooled from yeah. grade first grade all the way up to twelfth grade. Okay. For that sole purpose. Because I would he would be getting up at like five, yeah. thirty, six o'clock in the morning yeah. to get to school on time. Yeah. And I'm rolling out of bed at like nine. I'm done right. with school by like one. Yeah. Well, actually, you don't have, you to, don't wait have to wait on it. Be there. Yeah. yeah, you're not waiting on it. That's anyone. actually why yeah. once uh, I got through ninth grade and tenth mm. grade, they're like, "Do you want to go back to homeschool?" I was like, "Yeah," because I would get up. I would still get yeah. up early because I've always been an early riser. Right. But I'd have school done by like ten, eleven. Yeah. And I got a part time job till everyone got out of out of work. I mean, school. Out of school. So I'd go yeah. get money. <laughs> yeah. So I was never because the same thing. Because yeah. they said the same thing. They came to me. Do yeah. you want to go to public school? And I was like. No, no. You see how early those people get up? Yeah, yeah. and, and, and that, they're, they have to be there yeah. all day. Yeah, that's awful. Because yeah, <laughs> that was always the thing that I, that's. I mean, a lot of times when I was a kid, they were like, "Oh, he's got ADHD." Blah 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 blah. But it was always because like I'd get done with the classwork, and then sit there for thirty minutes, being like, "I'm bored, I'm bored." School like was always so boring to me. Squirrel. Like a yeah. coked up squirrel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. School was. Uh, I struggled. Not because that's like, another show. We're gonna make because... Dandy and coked up squirrel Benny. <laughs> I'm listening, Gary. Go coked up squirrel Benny. That should be a cartoon. I should not be, that should not be a cartoon. No, I immediately absolutely. regret yep. that suggestion. <laughs> so you tried to break your legs. That's <laughs> that, that the story. What do you got? Do you have anything as I, dumb as that? Oh, oh very dumb. Uh, I don't think so that was a near-death experience. I got chopped up my hand. No, we're talking about dumb things do? we do as kids. That's me wrestling with the cat. 
Oh. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Jesus. Cats do that. When she gets uh, really into it, she goes really into it. I still like, have a permanent scar on my hand from, uh, from my... Oh, no, I'm right here from my dog. Oh, Dan, would you uh, like more beer? <laughs> Dan's like, yes, please. Uh, yeah, do I have a story about being stupid as a kid? Maybe. What is going on? Okay. Bad cups. All right. <clears throat> Why are you whispering? Yeah. Because <laughs> this is a very serious establishment. <laughs> Uh, damn, we require just, silence. So I, this is the you, <laughs> Buckwit Belgian Wit Beer. It's Pez Bell Beer. Oh, and it my is... Read, right? I was just drinking from the can. All Belgian <laughs> style wit captures the essence of summer session beer. Oh, here you go. You read it. <laughs> I was hoping somebody's going to stop me. Our I was going to give him the can. Actually. I'm going to take the can. Oh, okay. Our Belgian style wit captures the essence of a summer session beer with an orange undertone and a hint of coriander. Kick back, soak in some rays, and satisfy your thirst with a refreshing taste of buckwit, Belgian. I just want you to narrate. Have you considered being I just like? Want you to narrate my life. Yeah. <laughs> that was what? You know, we want you to narrate our lives. Okay. Yes. Benny, sits did you already try it? <laughs> yep. What? It's pretty Here. good, actually. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. That's oh, my favorite. I like one that so one. Far. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Good. yeah, I actually like that. Yeah. Uh, you notice I'm always just a little surprised that I like a gluten-free beer. You're like, even oh, even yeah, still, yeah, I'm like, yeah, 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 it's pretty good. So I have a, I have a scar on my forehead, right here. It runs. It's Are you right Harry above, Potter? Right above my eye. You're a, you're a uh, wizard, Gary. You're a wizard. <laughs> That's actually where the story is going. I was 11 years old, <laughs> uh, sleeping on the floor, and there was a pounding at the door. Sure, sure. Um, it was actually just the FedEx man. So. Hashtag. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Wit beers are white ales from Beer Guy. Oh, thank you. We got to meet thank up with you, you again and, get, and learn some more beer knowledge now that we have some. Uh, so I was, we lived in this apartment complex in uh, Ohio, like Southern Ohio, and it was all indoors. So you had these really, really, really long hallways, you know, where everybody's apartments were indoors. And so I'm, we're, my sister and I were like walking around just doing stupid kid stuff by ourselves. And uh, we end, end up in one of these hallways. And I was like, Steph, stay right there. I'm going to run as fast as I can to the other end of this hallway with my eyes closed. Sure. And so I did. To see what happened. I gave it everything I got, man. I, I gave it I, everything I had in me. I was like, and then, of course, with my eyes closed, I rammed right into a door frame. Awesome. Busted over my head. I like I'm it. like bleeding all over the floor. And uh, yeah. And I guess you remember what the goal was? To get to the other end without hitting something, I don't know. <laughs> and you did like, not succeed. I did not succeed. I have a uh, yeah. a similar ish story. I have a scar over right here. It's a smaller one at this point, but uh, that was from oh, ride, yeah, that was from riding a big wheel. And I was looking at I don't even know how old I was at this point. Mm -hmm. I was looking at my friend on the sidewalk while you know cruising down, and apparently there was a parked car a little bit farther out than I anticipated. <laughs> And oh. right into the rear bumper, like took off like half the skin on my forehead. I was cruising, apparently. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Oh. And that wasn't even my story. Yeah. I, but I thought it was a good one. I mean, it's similar to that. One time our grandparents were babysitting us and the ice cream truck came by and I came running out of the ice cream truck barefoot. This is why I'll never walk outside barefoot. And apparently I dragged my big toe on the ground and just tore all the skin off my big toe. Hmm. And I just remember like being in a howling amount of pain and them using the pool to get it wet. Like, put your foot in the pool! <laughs> yeah, the chlorine will yep. kill all the diseases. <laughs> I rubbed my uh, shin up against a, a hot uh, old Mustang tailpipe Oof. once. I was like getting something out of the car, and I just like came down. I was like, ooh, that felt weird, because it was really hot. So yeah, it just yeah, yeah, melted yeah. the skin off. Oof. Oh. Yeah, and so I was like, okay, that's going to hurt soon. I was probably 10 or 11. Yeah. Is this just a scar story? I guess so. Is that what this turned I into? guess so, but no, I was I got, not paying attention one. to that tailpipe. Yeah. So I was... Uh, Five-ish, yeah. maybe younger. Uh, coming out of some church event, I don't, I don't honestly know. But they all blend together. Yeah, well. exactly. Yeah. Some church event, yeah. and uh, this particular church that we had gone to for a little while, uh, the parking lot was on this really long hill that went down into like a main road. Mm -hmm. So, mom was doing something with you or Daniel or something. I don't remember. Oh, I remember this one. And I, she told me to go get in the car. So I went and I got in the car. And for whatever reason, five-year-old Andy swung his legs into the car and I hit the parking brake. Mm. <laughs> and the car started rolling. 
And uh, so started rolling down the hill. And I, I'm five. I don't know what the hell to do. And apparently I had also locked the door at some point. Because yep. I went to try to get out. <laughs> you had trapped yourself. And I was trapped in the uh, car. I couldn't get out of the car. Yeah. So mom, who is holding our little brother, so he couldn't have been more than one-ish, tries to stop the car with her bare hands. Did not work. So my mom oh, fell well, down yeah. <laughs> yep. while holding my little brother. Yep. Um, and I'm trying, so I tried to get out of the car. I couldn't get out of the car because I wasn't smart enough to unlock it. Or, you know, like, I, mean, like, I mean, there's no other way to say it. I was just yep. like, oh, Jesus, yep. this is it. How I die. Oh. Um, <laughs> As a kid. Oh, my God. This is it. This is how it happens. Uh, I remember trying to put the parking oh, brake man. back yep. on. But once again, I wasn't smart enough to yeah. figure that out either. Sure. So the car is now backing up into rolling backwards into this main road, and there are cars flying by. Yeah. And for whatever reason, it definitely wasn't me. I don't know if we hit a rock or something. It turned, the wheel turned. So the car actually turned, and then there was two hills going up. So it was like a little driveway type of thing, right? Oh, nice. So the car starts doing Start, this. Like half, <laughs> half pipe kind Back of thing. And forth, and nice. I'm just in it like, ah. That's how I died. Finally, it figured out how to unlock the door. Huh. And if I remember correctly, because I, I, I remember that day, escape. mom was arguing with me about something because this was like one of those like VBS things we had done. Maybe, yeah. So yeah. she was dealing yeah, with yeah, me yeah, yeah, and yeah. you were like... Just dealing with Ben. No, she was. Dealing with I was kind of a problem child. Um, but she was He's a problem adult. Cause I remember Don't this, let him fool Because she was dealing with me and you were at the same time whining to her. Probably. Like, well, I'm hungry or something stupid. Yeah, She's like, just get in the car. Yeah, probably. And that was, that was yeah. where it ended up. Yeah. They ignored me a lot just because I had to do it. <laughs> this is where Andy's middle child syndrome comes from. <laughs> um, I do have a scar underneath this tattoo right here. It comes up here like this. You'll get a kick out of this one. Um, you remember at Humbees? They had the the barbed wire across the front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I forget what was happening, but I got knocked into it and caught it on the barbed wire. And instead of being a, a smart guy and trying to get it out, I was like, Whoa! Yeah, smart. No, no, no. no. I just tear my <laughs> way through my it. arm off. Just tear my Huge way through it. Huge gas running up here. It's like it's like running from like the elbow up to here. I had no reason for it either. I don't remember what was going on. It was it wasn't even like we're in combat or nothing. It was like we're in the rear. Like <laughs> just like just I'm probably I was probably just, wrestling yeah, around somebody like Dude. Just make he, something up. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, so yeah, we were under attack and uh <laughs> Oh wait, I got a it's probably not a near death experience from the army, but mm -hmm. to me it was. Sure. So I was jumping out of I was airborne. Yeah. For the last four years of my army career. And uh I jumped we we jumped out of because I was in special operations, we jumped out of helicopters. We didn't usually right. jump out of planes. Right. So I was actually... Really? I know, it was awesome. <laughs> uh, it was actually far better, just so we're clear on that. So we were jumping off a Blackhawk. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you're sitting on the side, and you just kind of boost yourself off, and you go. So we fall. And now, anytime I left the bird, I closed my eyes. I didn't open my eyes until I felt that chute open, which is, they tell you not to do. But I'm right. like, no way in hell. No. <laughs> right? It's falling through the air like, oh, Jesus Okay, that needs Christ. to be a scene in a movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got these like big, tough, confident <laughs> guys jumping out. They got like one guy like throws a cigar. And you got, you got Andy over here. He's like, no, 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 yeah. And you feel the shoot open. And I'm just like, like that. Honestly, that's probably what I look like. Just because you gotta help. You, you got your hands on your reserve parachute, and you're you're kind of like sit in position, kind of thing. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so the I feel the shoot open. I look up. Shoots open. Thank God. I go. So the type of uh, parachutes we, mm. we jump with yeah. were mildly steerable. Okay. Yeah. So they had a forward speed of ten knots, and you're supposed to turn it against the wind, and that would slow you down. That was okay. The idea. Yeah. So there's toggles to to steer yourself. Mm -hmm. So I go to reach up to grab my toggles. I grab one toggle. That's great. I grab the other toggle. I give it a tug. It snaps. <laughs> and I literally said out loud while floating through the air, well, this is how I die. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> so oh, man. now what they tell you is if your toggle breaks, you, you just steer. Like if I got to go left, you just pull this one and you, you spin around until you're spin facing around. the right direction. Yeah, yeah. Well, the problem is... Only having one toggle, you just start spinning like a jackass. Right. <laughs> just yeah, in yeah. the air. <laughs> so what they tell you for that is to slow yourself down, you have to revert to non-toggle parachutes, which is you grab like the back risers okay. and you have to pull them. That's okay. supposed yeah, to yeah. turn you, yeah, yeah. right? And it does to an extent. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'm like coming at the ground and I'm like, oh crap. So I'm, you know, I'm adjusting and all this trying to stuff. And I did slow myself down to the point where I didn't die. 
but not enough. Are you sure? But not maybe. This is some sort of elaborate hell. Um, <laughs> But not enough to actually oh, like yeah, you, you, slow me. Is, uh, wait, JJ. wait, wait! Is You're living for in your... a J.J. Abrams story. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's, he's working guy. for your brother. Oh, hell. So anyway, <laughs> I'm falling through the air, and uh, so I, so I'm coming towards the ground, yeah. and I'm going really friggin' fast, and I can't steer myself at this point. <laughs> so I start. I, I ended up starting to go towards. They were apparently they were like smoothing out half the drop zone or something like that. And they had these big piles of sand. Yeah. So I'm coming down. My feet hit one. So I went Ooh, face ow. forward. <laughs> I just start rolling through these thorn bushes. And I'm like, oh, Jason. Oh, God. <laughs> Finally, I stop. And I'm just lying there. Uh, and I did the same thing no matter what. I always like, okay, move your fingers, move your toes. Yeah, make sure nothing's make sure you broken. Move, yeah. And I'm just lying there. And apparently somebody saw me from the shoot shake area. So they come running yeah. over and all I hear is, Dude, you good? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I'm all right. I'm like, hold up my thumb. And then he didn't even come over to help me. He was like, all right. And all right. Left. <laughs> and uh, my buddy who had already turned in his shoot was waiting for our ride. He's like, he said he, he saw me come flying across the drop zone. And he's like, and all I can hear is crap, 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 crap. <laughs> Which is what I was screaming yeah. right as I smashed into the ground. <laughs> I had like a stick like jammed up into my helmet and like you missed probably, my eye by like this much. Ugh, oh, that was bad. Man, that's amazing. So what's the verdict on the gluten-free beers, guys? I like this one. They're good. They're I like the last two. They're, they're, they're passable. Yeah. I will say, yeah. I other than feeling, tasting a little bit lighter than some yeah. of the beers we've yeah, had. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I was gonna say they're very, they're very much like a light beer, is what yeah. it is. Like. Yeah. Um, yeah. Otherwise, I wouldn't know. If you just handed me this in a cup, I'd yeah. be like, oh, it's just a light beer. I would yeah. just drink it. Yep. So uh, that's it. Three beers and a topic is back, and if we do it, if we do it well, we're back, baby. If we do it well and keep up to it, it should be weekly again, and we'll start rolling on other things like Benny making cocktails, Andy eating a bunch of hot wings and seeing what his face does. Andy's not doing that. <laughs> I control his salary. <laughs> and you leverage that a lot. I do. People yes. are gonna quit. Yeah. <laughs> Like I'm I pay, sure I pay now, you. I can do whatever as, I want with as you. As the HR rep and the yeah. person who makes the pamphlet, <laughs> yes, pretty sure you can't do that. You can't do that. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining us today. You can find me on Twitter at my personal stuff since it's my personal channel. Um, <laughs> Benny's personal at Ven channel. Benny underscore adventure on Instagram and yep. Benny's beard on Twitter. Andy is at for I am the Andy on Instagram and Gary is at Film Circuit on everything. On everything. Yep.